Hi guys, it's Beatty. Today I have this spooky Halloween look for you. I hope you will enjoy. I'm starting off with the eyeshadow base. Next I'm going to use black eyeshadow and I'm going to pack this onto the lid. We're going to be using black all the way around. So just pack onto the entire lid. And you can use some brown transition shades here higher up if you want to but I think that just black blended up really really high it will look more spooky so I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just blend out this black to go higher I want it to go almost up to the brow but I want it to be a smoky cloud of black so I'm just blending this out from lower point and then dragging some of the black higher and higher and then you can just repack whatever you lost and just re-blend that line it will eventually create a very nice um, transition and you really don't need a black eyeshadow base or eyeliner underneath just get yourself a good black because then it's really hard to blend out that line that you would make with eyeshadow base or eyeliner and I really want that really smoked out look see how this really goes spooky really fast so if you want to do a black uh, smoky eyes just apply brown instead of this black and it will look very nice and evening like but if you just blend out black all the way up it just goes spooky and I want to keep it very rounded as well so I'm just taking the same black on a pencil brush I'm just going to add that to the lower lash line and don't forget to also add it to the tear duct and just to the outer corners as well this should really all be very messy just make sure you really get those inner corners as well so I'm just wiping away some of that fallout because it looks ridiculous and sometimes dark eyeshadows can go here on the nose here in the inner corners I want that black sooty darkness but not on the nose itself so I'm just gonna wipe that now I'm going to use black gel liner and with this I'm going to use this on the waterline and tight line as well and you need to really go in between those lashes as well also on the top in between the lashes just color in that little part of skin that's not covered now i want to use some black glitter and i want it kind of intense so i'm using the glitter glue as well so i'm just going to use it in the middle of the lid because that's this is where i want it concentrated and then all the other parts will be very dispersed so i've put the glitter glue now i'm just picking this up on my brush and i'm going to tap that in all right and then on the outer corners it will disperse a little bit And with glitter it will never be even unless you're just packing it on to certain areas I'm just taking the other side of my brush just to flick off a couple of pieces because I really don't want it on this outer part here and now you can try to take it off your face but it's a mission impossible so Alright, so for the eyes, I'm going to add a couple of individual lashes. So I'm adding mine kind of irregularly, like one higher, one lower, because I think it will look better with this look. And I also have these lash extensions. These have sparkles on the ends, so I'm just going to use one of each length on the outer corner of the eye. And these are kind of hard to get right because they're so thin. But you just have to look at both of them, what you've done, and just straighten it out. 
Right now I'm just going to add some mascara to the individual lashes and I really want a lot just to make them look very messy. We're not concerned about looking natural here, I mean, you can see. Now I'm just going to clean up the fallout again because I was messing with the lashes and some of the glitter um, fell off. So I'm going to prime my face. I'm using some Kryolan TV paint stick and I'm using a lighter color than I would normally just because I think lighter skin for this kind of look will just look very spooky for Halloween. It will look very witchy. So I'm just going to go a little bit closer to that blending but I don't want to get too close. Also, I don't want to cover too much there because I think it adds to that spooky effect if your dark circles are out a bit. I'm also going to add white to a couple of places like here on the top of my cupid's bow on the top of the cheeks to replace highlight and some in the middle of the forehead just to balance everything out. Now I'm just grabbing the powder puff with, with some powder and I'm just going to set, especially here underneath my eyes because I don't want that black running down lower. And the nose and the middle of the face. So on the forehead, on the chin, and I'm going to set around my lips very well as well because I'm using black for the lips. So I'm just going to add a bit of contour onto the cheek, but this I want very concentrated and just a flick of the wrist, nothing too major. I just want to add something to the face, but I don't want to contour too much because then we're gonna look like a skeleton. I'm just going to add a bit to the jawline as well. Right, I'm going to add the setting spray. And now for the lips, I'm using black liquid lip. Before I do that, I'm just going to take off any foundation I might have on my lip because the black might turn green or grayish if you're mixing it in with your foundation. Alright, so I overdrew my lips by a lot and again, I'm gonna play the Halloween card. So it's fine. Before they completely dry, I'm just going to go back to my glitter and I'm going to add some to the lip as well to tie in the look. So I'm just adding this to the cupid's bow and a little underneath just to kind of create that heart shape. Right, then if you have some glitter on your chin, just use a spoolie to flick it off. The rest you'll eat throughout the night. And I was waiting till the end to see what to do with the eyebrows and I think I think they're fine as they are. I'm just going to fill in this little corner here and on the other side the same just because I have like a sparse area there. But I think the rest is fine. I'm not going to do anything else unless you're going for like a witch and you just can draw like a really thin black line and that, that can be the eyebrows for the costume. But if you're just wearing it as a, a makeup option on Halloween uh, without a costume context, then I think just keeping them really natural is better. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please hit the thumbs up. And for more makeup tutorials and more Halloween looks, please subscribe to my channel. There's so much bad makeup for Halloween already. Nobody's gonna look at the glitter on the face. Why? I don't know. So don't ask me. But for Halloween, I mean, who cares?